Hello, and thank you so much for returning. We are continuing on with the Baking a Cake series. This is probably the funnest part of the whole cake process for me. So in the previous video, just to recap, we filled our bag with icing and we prepared ourselves to ice the cake. When you're icing a cake, there's usually a crumb coat, but with this big icing tip that I found at Walmart, I don't have to do the crumb coat. There's enough icing that comes out of the tip that actually alleviates that process for me. So here we are icing the cake. And the key to icing is to apply a consistent amount of pressure on the bag. And whenever you need to um, remove the bag for whatever reason, like I did here, you need to figure out which motion you're going to swipe in because you're going to trail the icing along. And so for me, that motion is out and away from my body, so to speak. So we've gotten the cake all iced up. And now what I'm doing is just going back into areas where I saw that I didn't get a good um, flow out of the uh, icing um, tip. But as you can see, this tip does do a beautiful job with um, getting enough icing onto the cake. All right, so after you've gotten enough icing on your cake, I'm just gonna cover the top part with the same icing tip. Now you're gonna shift over to a different tool and that's gonna be a spatula. I'm gonna use at least two spatulas and another cake tool. Um, you're gonna see that I noticed that the small spatula just wasn't gonna cut the job for this cake, but I was able to just do the bottom portion with that small spatula. Um, and then we're gonna move on into a bigger spatula tool like that. So if you have a butter knife, this will accomplish the same exact thing. And all I'm doing is smoothing to get the lines out of the cake and just making sure that the icing is distributed evenly around the cake like that. I've seen some uh, cake decorators on YouTube that will have a glass of hot water on the side and that's to help get that very smooth appearance. That's another tip that you can use if you find that you're not getting the smoothest um, line free cake. You could have a glass of hot water nearby and after you remove some of the icing you would clean your spatula tool at each um, each time you would uh, before you would go to use your spatula tool against the cake and I suppose it's the warm water or the hot water that helps to smooth it out but this is a cake for me and my family to enjoy it doesn't have to be nearly as perfect You'd almost think that I'm baking or making one of these topsy-turvy cakes that I've seen done on YouTube. But it's not, it's just a regular cake that I cut in such a way that made the, um, the, the bottom layer, the very first layer, I torqued it way, um, I cut it way too, too much and so the indention is obvious. So here's the additional tool that I have that will assist me in getting a smoother appearance. And as you can see how that tool is working. It's an art to practice it as far as using the, the turntable and these different tools. You just have to keep practicing it. If, if this is something that you really enjoy doing and want to continue to do. I mean, I have a six year old and she loves cake decorating and she inspired me to go through the class because um, she was watching a lot of the videos on YouTube and so we thought it would be awesome to be able to do this at home and so that's what we did. We sacrificed a few days a month and um, went to the classes, invested in the tools and now we can do these beautiful um, cakes at home and have fun and I get to share all of this with you. And I'll tell you that cake um, 
table that the turntable makes it so easy makes it so easy to do these um, to use these different tools and even though I've purchased the majority of my cake decorating tools from Walmart or Michaels a couple of other stores that you could definitely find some very useful tools for cake decorating is the Home Depot and Lowe's so don't rule out these stores as a place or a source for you to invest or build a um, arsenal of tools for you to use in your cake decorating adventures It's like I said, I'm not a professional by no shape, form, or fashion. It's just a hobby for me at this stage of my life. But um, it's with anything that you endeavor to do, right? If you are going to do something, please do it to the best of your ability. I mean, why waste time, right? So we're just putting good time into doing it and making sure that we are pleased with the end result. And so far, I must say, I am quite pleased with the results so far. All I'm doing here is just cleaning off some of the icing on the top. Just want to make an area where I can set some of the fruit filling right on top of the cake as a garnishment, so to speak. Here I'm preparing the bag for another coupler and tip. This little white part is called a coupler and it allows you to easily interchange the different tips that Wilton and Ateco and a lot of these other companies are starting to make now. So just preparing the bag and we're going to take some icing. First we're going to clean this off. And you can easily use your small spatula tool or butter knife to clean some of the um, icing from around the bottom side of the cake. But what I want to do now is kind of like make a border around, um, around the base of the cake and also we're going to make a border around the top of the cake. So here we go. So now that we have the cake completely iced, Follow along with me into the next video as I share with you how to put a beautiful border around the bottom or the base and along the top of the cake. Bye, I'll see you guys in the next video.